Hi, my name is Penny, and today's program is brought to you by the planet Venus. Venus is a planet that I think is a little bit underestimated and misunderstood. Venus is the planet of love, romance, and the ultimate feminine desire within all of us. It is our need to feel fulfilled on a romantic level. It can even be about friendships and how you deal with other people around you who aren't your lovers. People think it's entirely a force of good and it's all pleasantries. Well, it is all about the pleasantries. I can agree with that, but it can mask a lot of its intentions. Nothing is solely and entirely a force of good. I don't see any specific sign or planet in astrology as being only good or bad. They both have the duality in them and you can embrace either side depending on the situation. It's not a burning impulsive energy where we're just gonna fight through and obliterate everything in our path. It's more of a subtle desire and I will do anything I have to do to please other people and make other people like me so that I can get what I want. Venus can become very vengeful when she doesn't get what she wants because she has such strong desires and she's seen as being feminine and just kind of put on the back burner and easily ignored. Wherever Venus is, it's easy to gloss over what is actually happening and if there's anything negative influencing the actions of someone. It seems so pleasant. Venus is soft, silky pillows and you know, nice warm things and the love we get from our mom and from our wife, but everyone has their own agenda. This is how women traditionally get what they want as opposed to how men would get what they want by fighting wars and settling things in very obvious manners. Venus does not look for recognition. It does not come across as being very hardworking because that's not the energy it wants to put off. It doesn't necessarily want to be seen for what it's doing because Venus can hide ill intent, but most of the time it has very innocent priorities. It's our desire to be loved and to love others and what makes our hearts feel fulfilled. When Venus gets a little bit more ugly is when the person's heart is damaged. When there is fear blocking that loving and generous energy, you might instead focus on the fear of losing something in the same manner you have before because of something that happened to you in the past. There's a very brutal retaliation that we can have when we feel we are not being loved or we feel that what is going on and happening to us is not fair. If we feel like we are not getting back what we give, then over time we can eventually become bitter even though our intentions were initially good. Maybe you were doing something for the right reason, but then you saw that you weren't really liking the results. You wanted it to happen your way. You wanted to be appreciated. You wanted things in return. And when you give to other people, sometimes you see that they had all the success that came from that. And you feel like, wow, what did I get in return? Because you're investing in other people. You're not investing in yourself. This is a female energy and the female archetype is that of the mother, someone who takes care of everyone else and gives them what they need so that they can lead successful lives. And it's, it's not lazy. There is a lot of hard work that goes into loving other people and getting them to help you get the things that you want. Like, Think about the way a wife who is a stay-at-home mom loves her husband. He will be the provider and he will bring home the bread and the bacon and whatever else so that she can spend her time loving her kids. And that's all she wants to do is have the time to love her kids. And that's a very innocent intent. But then when it comes time to measure our achievements, it's a little bit more difficult to for the wife to prove what she accomplished than it is for the husband who can look at his bank account and say, I made this amount of money, I got this many promotions and maybe even awards at my job, depending on what kind of job it is. And for the mom, you can get appreciation for having well-behaved and successful kids, 
but mostly all the praise is going to go to them. And I think a lot of moms tend to not really get the recognition. When we see people who become very famous and successful, we look at them. And most of the time we've never even seen what their mom looks like or heard their mom talk. Venus gives you private internal recognition from the people who love you. Now say you're in a relationship and the person you get together with is very damaged and you want to help them heal and show them your love and you do all that and you go through all that effort to get them to be the person that you know they can be because you believe in them and you want them to be happy. But then once they get to that point and they become more successful, they leave you and they're with someone else. And then most of us will find ourselves incredibly bitter and hurt that this happened. It's because we can't measure what we did. Our success is not ours because it was love that we gave to someone else. And we're probably going to end up needing someone else to give that same love to us. Love and relationships have within them a huge book of unspecified, unspoken rules that if we break them, we're just gonna get emotionally punched in the face. We're gonna get torn down, we're gonna pay the price even though we may not have known what we did wrong. Because really, all we did was we hurt another person, whether we were aware of it or not. I think we'll spend our whole lives learning the laws of Venus and what we're allowed to do and what we're not allowed to do. What makes something evil versus how we manage to engage in that state of pure, good, loving intention that is supposed to be Venus. Is money evil because it is without love? If you think about money, and how we obtain money in this world. It isn't really all about how much work we put into something. Money is not a reward for work. There are people who work very hard and make very little money who are barely surviving. Then there are people who don't have to work very hard at all, but make tons of money. And sometimes people can make a lot more money by charming other people and getting other people to like them and kissing butt. And they'll do this, these almost fake acts of affection in order to get money. I don't know if money is the root of all evil or if it is simply a necessary evil, but I do think when we look at money and the effects it's had on us and how we obtain money, how we lose money, I think it is very obvious that Venus is what's ruling money. And money is a good metaphor for everything that can go wrong in a relationship. Money is the expectation to get something from an interaction with someone. I mean, all of us, are getting paid by someone else because we're not the ones who manufacture the money. So we have to get those other people to like us. I have to get you guys to like me so that you'll buy astrology readings. And if you work for a company, you have to get your employers to like you. Otherwise, they wouldn't have hired you in the first place. You have to get the customers to like you. You know, all of these tangible rewards are about getting other people to like us. And it's so hard to find a way to make money that isn't going to have a lot to do with how much other people do or do not like you. And sometimes we don't even know why other people don't like us. We don't even know what we're doing wrong. And most people aren't going to bother telling us. It's all in the rule book, this big imaginary rule book. And I would say everyone's rule book is a little bit different depending on where they have Venus in their natal chart. And all of these influences of Venus that I'm talking about can take place in synastry. Whether you have Venus conjunct someone's Mars or Chiron, or if you have it opposite something in their chart, these are the types of 
negative and positive effects that Venus can have given the circumstances. Venus is very circumstantial and I would say it's not even a very reliable planet. Taurus and Libra are both ruled by Venus. And yes, Taurus is Earth and usually very reliable, but Taurus represents the material side of Venus. That's things like money. And I believe in mythology, Venus was considered to be a watery type of woman. And in astrology, Venus is exalted in Pisces, which is a water sign. Your love and the people in your life might not be there tomorrow. And really the only kind of love that you can keep is self-love. And that's why I think it's beneficial for us to try and realize more and more that all love does come back to self-love because it comes from the self. And that's how we pour it out into other people. But then there's this horrible feeling that we lost something when we lose that person or they take what we give them and they just run. And if you want something that'll be there today and tomorrow and no matter what, regardless of whether or not you want it, then go check out Saturn because Saturn is like that, Venus is not. Venus represents everyone really having their own agenda and their own set of desires that needs to be fulfilled in their life. And when it comes down to it, we have ourselves to rely on and we have the love within us and we can share it with other people so that they can help us and aid us throughout our life and we can do the same for them. But we have to realize that it started with us and we can find new people. It's not that everyone is replaceable. Yes, everyone is very unique. Astrology emphasizes that. But when we love them and we have feelings for them, those feelings exist internally within us. Now we should try to love like there is no limit to love, like it is an infinite resource. And that's the way we should try to view money too, because really they can print however much of it they want. We should avoid being greedy and trying to take too much from others. But when we start to feel like there isn't enough money or resources for everyone, we get greedy. We find ourselves competing to get what we need rather than just being confident and believing that we are going to get it anyway because we are loving and putting out good energy and Venus kind of just requires a lot of faith. You just have to know that there's love in your heart and that love will take place in your life as well. And that's why I say you shouldn't go looking for love or for happiness in other people because the first mistake you made was passing up yourself when you looked in the mirror. I hope you liked my video and stay tuned for Venus in the Signs. I am making 12 videos covering every placement you could possibly have. And in those videos, I'm including segments about compatibility with each of the other 12 signs. So there's a lot going on and a lot of information and a ton of time and energy that I've been putting into this. Please also check out my Patreon page that I set up. Basically, what you can do is agree to donate some money every time I make a video. And in turn, I will hand out free readings. Uh, some of these readings will be free. In fact, they will be 100% free if I do not upload a video for that month. So I still have to do readings either way. But you will only be paying me each time I upload a video and put the link on my Patreon page. So if you want to help keep me motivated to make these videos and um, make me feel like I'm doing this for a reason, because I hate to admit it, but I've been struggling to find the motivation to upload a video every week. And it is a lot of work. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.